Peace. This build is going to be on this sister right here, who is one of the first laborers of the Nation of Islam. She's one of the first nine. The name of her book is I Am Bernstein Sharif Muhammad, Reformer and Secretary to Master W.D. For Muhammad. And these are some of her experiences. Um, I feel that it's important to speak about this woman. I feel that it's important that people should be familiar with this person because this is a face that you normally don't see when you deal with a woman in the nation of Islam. With that, I say peace. We about to go in. If you were to do a Google search, you will run across a New York Amsterdam. If you just put that name, I am Bernstein Sharif Muhammad, and it will talk about um, briefly who she was married to, my brothers of Elijah Muhammad, how many children, etc. Um, currently, in 2017, this is the last thing, unless there's something that I haven't saw, but I haven't seen it, this is what you will hear about. Now, when we look at this paper here, it'll say Dallas. Dallas auction plan for Nation of Islam items. An archive of documents from the founding and early decades of the Nation of Islam is estimated to sell at auction next month for $500,000. The archive will be offered by Heritage Auctions on May 11th in Dallas. It is being put up for auction by the family of Bernstein Sharif Muhammad who served as secretary for Nation of Islam founder W.D. Farad. The Black Separatist Religious Movement traces its origins in the 1930s in Detroit. Included in the archives are meeting notes, correspondence from followers, lesson plans, and speech notes. Elijah, Elijah Muhammad took over leadership in 1934. On May 13th, Harrod Auctions will be offering up items that once belonged to him including his Kofa hat, expected to garner about $20,000. If you research a little further, we'll see that the auction was stopped. And um, it's a debate to see who owns this stuff. And I, get, I don't know what else, not everything we could leave for speculation. So now what we're going to do, we're going to look at her own words. And this is from her book. And then there's going to be a point where I stop at, stop. And I want to address three points that are on this page. So as I read, I was born on July 14th, 1915 in Robbinsville, Mississippi. In 1919, we moved to Detroit, Michigan. I was four years old. I went to school in Detroit, Michigan. It was October 1932 when my parents brought me to the Temple of Islam located over the Castle Theater at 3408 Hastings Street in Detroit. Gotta remember this date and remember this actual uh, address, 3408. After going to the meeting several times with my parents, I saw Brother Ben Shabakan typing. He was typing with one finger. I said to one of my girlfriends, I can't use all of mine. And she said, that's right. I don't know whether she spread the word about me or who, but one Sunday, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad asked, is the sister here who says she can type? If so, stand up. So I stood up. He asked me, where my parent, were my parents Muslims? I said, yes, and told him who they were. I was told to come to the next morning meeting to be interviewed that I become the first typist titled The Reformer at 17 years old. Every Tuesday, we had a picnic with Muslims only. We danced, played games, especially baseball at the picnic, we would win prizes. Master W.D. Farad Muhammad would always have something to give us, especially his laborers. Everybody wanted to win, so the competition was high. One of the contests was dancing with Master W.D. Farad, and on his head, 
sat a full glass of water. Master Farah Muhammad asked me to dance. I was reluctant and fearful that I would cause the glass to fall. I danced as best as I knew, stumbling along. I was so nervous until he let me go and took another girl to dance, and she won the prize. Master W.D. Farrar dance was called the waltz. He said the waltz was original music. Before the fun, he would always have laborers and teachers meetings. These meetings were very essential because we were being trained. Okay, we're going to pause this. So three of the points that I want to cover from here is 13, 3408 Hastings Street, the waltz dance, and the rules and regulations that are of the nation of Islam. So when we want to actually look and find this person, Ms. Bernstein or Sharif Bernstein, we want to see if we can find her and anything else outside of her actual words and besides other we have one newspaper that's a newer newspaper we want to see what is the history of this woman does she really go back that far at the beginning of this nation of islam so in this paper here you'll see the first paper with a red arrow pointed down to it this is a paper from the detroit press written in 1934 at this early date, the authorities called the Nation of Islam the Voodoo Cult. And I'm not going to get into that specific part. That's going to come into something different. But later on, in 1934, they attempted to close their university. Their university was on 3408 Hastings Street. So as they attempted to close this school because people were taking their children out of public school and putting them in this school, they started to investigate and they raided the place. And this is what they did. As we begin to read, it says, alarm systems wrecked. Because of the resistance previously by the officials in trying to gain information about the university, 15 policemen from the Candace station aided the authorities. They cut wires in the school through which the teachers sought to summon aid. Through a watchman in the basement, it was said. Only two students were found in the school by the officials, but records seized disclosed that more than 400 were enrolled there. Archibald N. Hemmings, head of the truancy department of the Board of Education, declared, Efforts have been made to trace many of the youngsters taken out of the public schools, it was said, but because their names were changed to Muslim ones and secrecy was prevalent among the members of the organization, it had been difficult to estimate the number sent to the University of Islam. These were the names given so these are the names that were given that are the instructors that were taken that arrow right there you will see miss bernstein sharif 18 years old okay after they arrest these people which you see it's like there's a lot of them it looks like 18 or 20 of them something happens the nation of islam responds and this is the same year, 1934. It says, Negro mob beats Detroit police. Crowd of 500 rioters protesting closing of University of Islam. Detroit, April 18. Six police were beaten and trampled this morning when they attempted to suppress a mob of Negro men, women, and children. Estimated by... The police to number 500 that had gathered to protest the closing of the University of Islam. 20 persons including police inspector William Brick, commander of the Central Station and five other policemen were given first aid treatment at police headquarters. No one was injured seriously 
The mob first gathered in Clinton Street and after 15 minutes of fighting was dispersed. A few minutes later, the fighting was resumed in front of police headquarters. A riot squad of 50, 50 policemen scattered the demonstrators using their nightsticks. Some of the women in the crowd had babies in their arms, others small children by the hand. Apparently, the crowd had gathered to attend the arraignment in court of the 14 instructors of the University of Islam who were arrested Monday night in a raid in a raid of the cult headquarters. The fighting started, police said, when a large Negro identified as a leader of the cult shouted, get the coppers. Very interesting. So, we see that these people wanted to make their own school, made their own curriculum, even though they wasn't licensed, they understood that they had to do for themselves and they respond. On this next article, which is the same same case, we'll see what happens after the after effect. University of Islam had convicted but paroled. Elijah Muhammad, 18 AIDS, freed in Detroit court. Arrest caused disturbance. Detroit, Michigan, April 25th, Circuit Judge Arthur E. Gordon today dismissed charges of contributing to the delinquency of children against 18 instructors in the Negro University of Islam, but convicted Elijah Muhammad, who said he was ministered. This is not spelled correctly, so I'm not sure what it, I think. I don't know. They had a typo in there at the school. Muhammad was admitted to probation. The judge is responding. I am not going to fine or sentence you, Judge Gordon told the cult leader. I do not think that would solve the problem. I don't care anything about you adults. We do want your children to have the same opportunities as our children. When the defendants were arraigned last week, 500 followers of the cult made a demonstration in front of police headquarters causing injuries to 20 policemen and an equal number of Negroes. So, we have now identified that Ms. Bernstein was there from the actual beginning. We see our outside source um, showing that she had arraigned as being an instructor in the school. We saw the NOI respond to the police coming to their school and locking up their instructors and they actually went to fight <laughs> literally for the freedom of their instructors and we see they all got let go very interesting we're gonna keep it moving so um we're gonna deal with the next point and this is dealing with um, what the sister said and these are the 36 rules and laws of the nation of Islam I'm just going to point out two of them one says no dancing shaking or twisting the body in public the other one says 14 no games of chance no games of chance means gambling betting for anything so when we look and we see the sister described, she said that it was a competition. She said that they were playing games so that they would be able to dance with Master Farad Muhammad. Find that very interesting. We're now going to go into the next point that deals with the waltz dance. We're going to go in. Um, this next slide is dealing with the history of the waltz dance, which is actually a music that accompanies the dance. Um, when you heard me read that page, she said that he said that the waltz was original music. Original music to who? The African? The black man? Let's look. Waltz from German Walsen. 
to revolve. Highly popular ballroom dance evolved, evolved from the Landler in the 18th century. Landler traditionally a couple dance of Bavaria and Alpine Austria. Austria they're speaking about in Europe. This is close to Germany. So we're going to address this at a later note because this is going to deal with who this person is. But the music accompanies a dance. And this man says that he had a glass of water on his head. Let's take a little look at this. Oh, it's not... Next page here, this is a, a bigger picture of the sister. You get to really get a good close up on her. And in this page, she's gonna talk about her skills. And she says, I have many skills and held every position available from a former. One who changes, who changes, establishes structures, organize, puts into place that which is needed to bring about growth and advancement. Secretary treasurer, and personal secretary to Master W.D. Farah Muhammad, also to the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, the fastest typist. I was the fastest typist in my high school class, 95 words per minute with 98% accuracy. All literature, letters, lessons, problem book, facts, etc. I converted from longhand into typing of the non-first laborers chosen by Master W.D. Farad. I was the only female laborer. So she is one of the first nine. She then goes to say, I graded letters, which everyone had to write from a holy name. Help those who could hardly write by taking their hand and guiding it, giving them writing exercises until they could write on their own. I set up the woman's class, MGT and GCC, was captain over it and advanced to instructor over it by the Honorable Elijah Muhammad to train and instruct other captains. Temple secretary advanced to instructor by the Honorable Elijah Muhammad to train others in position. In most positions, I was the first and became instructor over them. Most of the time, I held two positions at the same time. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad would send various workers in the community to me for instruction or clarification, which many times would include ministers because I knew the work from the beginning when the nation first started. Very interesting. I just want to elaborate on something and show something real quick. Um, when you see the words MGT and GCC, and she's saying that she was the first, meaning like the founder of it, or the first teacher of it, it means Muslims Girl Training, General Civilization Classes. I want to put these definitions here so you can understand what it is that this woman was doing. What is the duty of a captain and, a, and lieutenants? The captain's duty is to give the orders to the lieutenant, and the lieutenant's duty is to teach and train the private soldiers and train them. This is according to the Nation of Islam. The MGT is the name given by the Prophet W.D. Farad. It means Muslim girl training. These are the women of the Nation of Islam who learn how to keep a home cook so in their classes known as the General Civilization Course. I want to point something out. This is a newer picture from a couple of years ago. This is um, Muslim girls training. You see them dressed they're in formation. Whenever we see the Nation of Islam women you'll always see a light-skinned woman in the front. You will always see uh, the light-skinned wives. They're black, no doubt, no no, no issue with that. But I, I had to think and ask myself this question, how come the founder of the Nation of Islam, this woman who is beautiful, dark-skinned, why is her, her face plastered on everything? The other question that you should really ask yourself is this. If the FBI said the longest most manhunt for an individual was W.D. Farad, 
He was the longest search for person to my knowledge of them searching for. This um, sister, she dies in actually 2002. So she was alive when uh, Master, I mean, when uh, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad dies. We don't have an interview from this woman. There's nothing else written from this woman. I know that this book has to be more than six pages. She has a whole lot to say. Because she was there from the beginning. There from the foundation. I want you to ask yourself this question. Why do we don't really know about this woman? And how come the woman who was the first laborer, one of the first laborers of Mr. Farah Muhammad, we don't even have an interview from this lady. Things to make you say, hmm, this is part one. We will be getting into some more history of the Nation of Islam. This is my choice. We'll be getting into some history of Farah Muhammad and the times and the history and the things that went on in Detroit in the 30s. We will take a closer look. With that, I say peace. Um, I Big up to the sister. I just had to do it. Because I ain't seen not one video on this woman on the whole entire YouTube conscious community platform. I say peace.